नमस्कार देर आर लॉर्ड ऑफ मेल्स एंड फोन कॉल्स कमिंग टू जी न्यूज एंड माई कलीग्स इन जी न्यूज एडिटोरियल दैट वी शुड टेल द व्यूअर्स वॉट हैपन इन दोज टू एंड हाफ आवर्स इन दैट बस एंड वाई जी न्यूज डिड नॉट शो दैट पार्ट ऑफ स्टोरी वेन वी इंटरव्यूड द प्राइम विटनेस मोस्ट ऑफ द कॉलर्स वर श्योर दैट वेन वी हैव इंटरव्यूड द पर्सन फ्रॉम द टाइम द विक्टिम गर्ल एंड ही वर थ्रोन आउट ऑफ द बस थिंकिंग दैट बोथ वर डेड we must have recorded the details of that incident in the bus as well then why are we not showing that part that is the question which is being asked by everyone in view of so many calls and angry messages i want to tell the true version to all the viewers of z news as well as 670 million viewers of z network when we started recording that interview with the eye witness he started telling us the story right from the time he and the victim came out of that mall and their unfortunate journey that began without knowing that destiny is taking them to a big disaster he talked about how they got into that bus and also described the complete ambience in that bus those dark glasses those curtains and the darkness inside the bus these details are already there in that interview which you have already seen after this he started telling us the minute by minute account of what happened in the bus and how he and the helpless girl were struggling to defend themselves and how he was trying to save her it was a painful story i have to tell this to all my friends and well wishers which is you it is because of you that my team me and my company exists if you as a viewer will not give your time to watch this channel we cannot survive hence you demanding the account of what happened with that girl and the boy in the bus i feel is fully justified but my dear viewers i have to say that z news and entire z network has always kept the country's dignity supreme that is above everybody we have been responsible rather than keeping a selfish motive to make money as supreme if we would have recorded and shown that minute by minute account of what happened for 2 and a half hours in the bus running on busy roads of delhi our viewership would have exceeded the viewership of 2611 attack in mumbai if you recall it would have been a bigger television show than the attack on indian parliament in 2001 you would have been as ashamed as much as we would have been in the recording studio here in that case as soon as the witness started telling minute by minute account my team decided to switch off the cameras and not take it on record so that we are not tempted to telecast it if we would have shown the details of that journey in the bus and how this never before crime was committed we could have been rated the highest reality show amongst 400 or tv channels in india who are competing with each other we would have become the leader in terms of tv ratings but we would have also made our 121 crore indians feel ashamed of themselves we felt that it could have aroused emotions of the people to the highest degree we also felt that it could have aroused the anger in all of us to very very dangerous levels we felt both emotions and anger could have resulted in a reaction like what happened during mandal commission report was implemented by the late vp singh government many many young people set themselves on fire and died everybody was on roads everybody was angry friends that is why we did listen to the entire story and the account of what happened in the bus and all of us cried no end while listening to this story for the first time i personally felt ashamed i have always believed that we in india have the least police stations in the world and we have least crime but the voice which was going to hit my ears would have shattered my belief hence we did not record that part of the story and we did not do it due to the reasons i have just put before you if you feel we have made a mistake or we were wrong 
you have the right to say so and feel so. We can still record and show you the details of that entire terrible bus journey due to which the late brave girl has woken up entire nation. She has warned all of us. She has asked us to change. She expects all of us to be the agents of change and she wants that we should first change ourselves. We should become as fearless as she and her friend did in the entire two and a half hour journey. It is only then we can force change. We can bring change. We can demand and change the kind of lawmakers we elect. It is only when we are out of fear and favor that we can change the kind of people that represent us within India as well as outside the nation. If we were selfish about getting more and more television rating points, which you call TRPs, we would have shown the entire account of the gruesome incident. But Z Network and Z News, its executives and all the people who work with us are Indians first and have always stood by India's self-esteem and will always continue to do so. We are for television respect points, not for television rating points that everyone runs after these days and sensationalizes news. We are committed to do so without fear or favor. We know that in the present time, the level of tolerance to face the truth has diminished all around. No one, I'm, I'm repeating, no one can face the slightest of criticism these days. This is despite many of them committing crimes and stealing public money, your money, my money and our resources. Yet, they file defamation cases against the media whenever media tries to expose them. Today, it's a well-accepted fact that none of the people running the system appreciates media, especially the online and electronic media and the social media, because it's instant. A prominent union minister is on record saying in one of the public functions, and while he may have said it on other forums as well, but I'll quote from one where I have heard it. The UPA minister has said that the paralysis of the government not functioning is not due to the UPA government and UPA is not responsible for it. It is because of the CAG, the judiciary and the media. In this state of affairs, we at Z News still continue our resolve to bring to you, our viewers, the Indians at large, the decision makers and the civil society, the ultimate truth. But the big question is, what happens after this? We are being made villains by the government, by the system, by the police, by the so-called intellectuals. And you, my friends, are there as mute spectators. Anyway, our matter is not so important as the issue at hand, that is the rape issue, which we are talking about. We will still face the atrocities of police, the system and the government, as we have been facing for the last few months, including this Friday, when one FIR was lodged against Z News and I being the final authority who was interrogated in a police station instead of being appreciated for being a responsible and a respectable journalist and broadcaster. The complaints by us against the complainant of an FIR filed earlier against Z News Limited by an influential member of parliament of the ruling party fell on deaf ears of Delhi police. Yesterday's interrogation at the police station was only directed towards do not show the truth which is against the system. Otherwise, you will suffer and will have to face police action and atrocities. My friends, if I have your support, I will say we are and we will suffer such pains of the police Raj. Though it is painful and very, very painful for our families and children. But we feel these pains are far, far less than our elders who not only suffered the pain but laid their lives so that we, the present generation, could be liberated. They did give us freedom, but they also must be wondering today, did they hand over the free India to the right people or the right system? I leave you with this big question and thought. Zara Sochiye. Jai Hind.